for the given singly symmetrical thin wall open section we have to locate the shear center this is a section having same length each wall is having the same length a a a a thickness is constant and the section is symmetric about x axis section is symmetric about x axis now it is required to calculate the shear center let me assume that the shear force of i told you if sy is not given you can assume it as sy and section is symmetric about x axis so the load which we have to take is nothing but sy okay sy so s axis is zero it is understood because the shear center is going to lie along the axis of symmetry okay so at a distance of e for example at a distance of e from the point e from the point e shear force is located okay now this is the formula to find the shear flow or the expression to find the shear flow for the thin wall sections okay so i x y is zero if the section is symmetric and s x is zero so if i x y is zero and s x zero you will get q s is equal to minus s y by i x x integral t y d s integral t y d s okay so now it is required to find out i x x okay so it's a thin wall open section so i x x is a cube t sin square beta by 12 beta is the angle so in this case alpha is the angle so i x x is equal to i x x for the top one right a cube t right a cube t sin square alpha by 12 a cube t sin square alpha by 12 okay plus plus area of this is a into t a into t is the area and the distance from this centroid to the xx axis okay distance from this centroid to this xx axis so this is nothing but a sin alpha and this is a by 2 sin alpha So a sine alpha plus a by two sine alpha is nothing but three by two a sine alpha square. Three by two a sine alpha square for the top section. So in the bottom five to four, five to four also same distance. Okay, a sine alpha plus a by two sine alpha. You'll get it negative. Anyway, we're going to square it. So I can multiply it by two, right? Two plus two to three again a cube, okay? A cube t sine square alpha by twelve plus the area a into t a into t. I need this distance. This is centered for this, okay? A by two. So a by two sine alpha. A by two sine alpha whole square. Okay, so top and bottom same dimensions. So I can just multiply by two. Okay, I can just multiply by two. So after simplification, you will get sixteen a cube by three. Sixteen a cube by three a cube t sine square alpha. So I x x is sixteen a cube t sine square alpha divided by three. Okay. So this is the i x x value for the given section for the given section. Okay. Now let it be as it is. Okay, i x x, and further we can simplify this. Uh, t you can take it outside by i x x integral y d s. Thus t is constant throughout the section. Okay. Now let us find the shear flow. So I can start the shear flow calculation from one or from four. This is open end. Where we know that the shear flow is zero, so let me start from five. So consider a small section like this. Okay, DS small segment DS at a distance of yes, at a distance of S from the open end, open end five. So now let us stop. Let me rub this. Okay.
Any doubt? You can ask me. Okay. So let me draw a line here. Now we are trying to find the shear flow expression 5 to 4. Okay, Q 5 to 4. Q 5 to 4. Okay. This is the expression minus T S Y by AXX integral Y DS. What's the value of Y? Y is nothing but vertical distance from X axis to this element. I need this distance. I need this distance. Okay. So Y is equal to this is A sin alpha. This is A sin alpha. So we know that this angle also alpha. Okay, this angle also alpha. So A sin alpha plus A sin sin alpha is nothing but 2A sin alpha minus this minus S sin alpha. So 2A sin alpha minus S sin alpha. This is located below x axis minus. So y is minus of 2A sin alpha minus S sin alpha. So substitute this y in this Q5 to 4 expression. So minus 2 minus I'll get plus okay T S Y by I X X integration 0 to S okay 2A sin alpha minus S sin alpha into D S minus S sin alpha into D S. So after integrating T S Y by I X X. 2a s sin alpha minus s square by 2 sin alpha. So this is the shear flow expression. This is the shear flow expression for the between the points 5 to 4. Okay, q 5 4 is the shear flow expression. At 5, s is 0 means you will get shear flow to be 0. At 4, when s is e means you will get the shear flow at 4. Now come out here, 1 to 2, same way, consider a section or a small segment ds at a distance of s from the open end, from the open end, okay. <clears throat> so this is also located in the same location, even this is also located in the same location from x x axis, okay. Now when you start writing for this 1 to 2, for this 1 to 2, same expression, okay. Everything is same, only y value changes. So, for 1 to 2, for this small segment, if you try to write down the y value from the xx axis, a sin alpha plus a sin alpha, 2a sin alpha minus s sin alpha, 2a sin alpha minus s sin alpha. This is located above x axis, so positive, okay. So 2a sin alpha minus s sin alpha is the y value. Here we have got minus. Minus of 2a sin alpha minus s sin alpha. Here in this case, 2a sin alpha minus s sin alpha is the y value. Okay. So when you substitute this y, okay, y in this expression, what I will get? I will get minus value, right? Here I am getting plus value. Q5 to 4 is the plus value, which means that the dash of the shear flow is same as the dash of S. So this is my shear flow dash. So when I take this Q1 to 2, Q1 to 2, I am getting negative value, minus of this Q5 to 4. So minus of Q5 to 4. So magnitude wise, Q1 to 2 and Q5 to 4 are same. Okay, only the sign configuration changes. So here I am getting plus value. So that I am getting minus value. So Q1 to 2 is negative means. So my S, I mean the shear flow direction should be opposite to the dash of the S. And this. Q5 to 4 and Q1 to 2 is nothing but it is reversed because of negative sign. Because of the negative sign. So now. Our ultimate aim is to locate the shear center from the point 3. It is given the problem. Now, 
whether do we need to find the shear flow between 4, 3 and between 3, 2 means it is not required because I am going to take moment with respect to 3. So the shear force or the moment caused due to this shear flow or the shear force would be 0 because this is the reference point. So the shear flow, the actual shear flow will be like this. This okay. So this component will not produce any momentum with respect to three. So the shear moment produced due to this shear flow or the shear force between one and three and three and four would be zero if this is my reference point. Now with the help of these two shear flow values, I can take moment with respect to three to locate the shear center to locate the shear center now let us take down the moment with respect to 3 so plus and minus q1 to 2 and uh, 5 to 4 or 4 to 5 is taken by the or uh, shown by the direction okay so magnitude wise q1 to 2 and Q5 to 4 are same. Q1 to 2 and Q5 to 4 both are same. So now let me take moment. Write down the moment equation with respect to 3. Sigma so M3 is equal to taking with respect moment with respect to 3. 5 to 4 and 1 to 2 gives clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. Q1 to 2. So twice. So 1 plus 1, 2. So 2 Q1 to 2 Q1 to 2 Newton per meter into small length ds okay Newton per meter into meter Newton okay force into propagating distance is the moment okay so ds this is alpha cos alpha into this distance cos alpha okay cos alpha into this distance so a sin alpha plus a sin alpha 2 a sin alpha and this shear force component sin alpha will coincide with 3 so it will not contribute to the moment equation so 2 q12 into ds cos alpha okay cos alpha into the distance is 2 a sin alpha 2 a sin alpha and SY gives anticlockwise minus SY into E minus SY into E so I can write this as 4 4 A sin alpha cos alpha 4 A sin alpha cos alpha then what is Q1 to 2 what is Q1 to 2 Q1 to 2 is Q1 to 2 or Q5 uh, to 4. You should tell you should write down the positive value because plus minus is taken by this arrow mark. That's of the arrow marks. Okay. T S Y by T S Y by I X X. T S Y by I X X 2A sin alpha. 2A sin alpha. 2A S sin alpha. 2A Yes, 2a s sin alpha minus s square by 2 sin alpha. Okay, so 2 into 2, 4 a sin alpha plus alpha. Q1 to 2 is nothing but t s y by x x 2a s sin alpha minus s square by 2 sin alpha. This is Q1 to 2 d s d s. Okay, we are going to integrate it. 0 to s okay so take this sy into e to the other side sy into e so what i will get here 2a s square by 2 i'll get s square by 2 okay here s cube by 6 s cube by 6 so limit is nothing but 0 to a limit is nothing but 0 to a and this sy and this sy will get cancelled Okay, SY, SY, we get cancer. Already we have calculated IXX. Already we have calculated IXX. Okay, I repeat. Here you will get, if you integrate, S square by 2. 
limit is nothing but 0 dA for example. So A square by 2. Here S cube by 6. If you apply the limits, K cube by 6. So after simplification and after substituting this IXX value, you will get E to be E is nothing but 5 by 8 A cos alpha. So this is the location of the shear center from the point E. Thank you.